Hey, what's going on everybody? Odin Figuration here, back with another quick review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Netflix series, Jessica Jones. I was walking in an outlay. 3 a.m. the wind was howling. The shadows look like people playing. Alright, and here's Jessica Jones out of the packaging. Um, first thought was I, I was really excited to get this figure, but after having her in hand, I'm kind of a little disappointed. Um, I don't know, her head sculpt came out a little weird, or I know she has that like natural kind of pointy nose and kind of odd look. I mean, she's really pretty in person, but she's also like dorky looking at the same time. I don't know, she's, she's cool. But um, the figure came out great. I wish she came with an extra pair of hands, you know, so I could put like a beer in her hand or a bottle or something like that. That would have been really cool. Um, she came with no accessories, so that kind of blows. But um, things that I like. Um, her hair came out really good. The paint apps or however they're applying the paint now came out really well. Uh, her jacket I like a lot. The, uh, the gloves, the gloved hands I like a lot. The jeans came out great. Her boots came out great everything like that but I don't know what it is I'm a little disappointed in this, in this figure I, I do really like the figure I am happy with her but I don't know just something missing but definitely a cool figure um, our, all the articulation is there actually looking at it in this light right now I'm getting a little more fond of her so her legs kick out double jointed knees ankle pivot the plastic in these are really tough these are probably some of the toughest figures I've had as far as these joints go. Um, stands real easy. Everything like that. Yeah, so it's a great figure. Um, I'm not complaining too much. So we got a street level hero in regular clothes. So that's really cool. You can do head swaps, uh, make a whole bunch of different characters with her. So. I probably will be picking up more of her just so I could have some more street levels, you know, regular civilians in the background, stuff like that. Maybe get another one and paint the jacket a different color or something like that. So, a lot of possibilities with this chick. Um, I'm really excited to have her. Um, the likeness looks just like the actress. These females need double jointed elbows. I mean, that's as high as I could get her forearms to go. I can't even make her look like she's boxing or anything. I guess that's what's bugging me is I can't get her into some poses I really wanted her in because of the closed fists and the single jointed elbows. I mean, I still really like the figure, but it's kind of killing me I can't get her to, to pose some ways that I like. Like, even trying to get her into a simple, like, just punch somebody pose is like, I don't know, it doesn't look natural. I guess that's really what's bothering me is I can't get her into a natural looking pose. So, maybe camera angles or something, but still, it's that damn single jointed elbow. Ruined the figure. Alright, and here's Jessica Jones and Electra side by side. Um, looks like Jessica's a little bit taller, but that ju that might just be because of her hair. Um, I don't know the how tall the actresses are in real life but they seem pretty accurate I actually would think Electro is taller than Jessica Jones but uh, maybe they're not so but they scale into each other really well except for her Popeye arms um, yeah I'm happy with her scale alright hope you guys liked my quick review of Jessica Jones uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already uh, leave a comment let me know what you think uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace. I was walking in LA, 3 a.m. The wind was howling. The shadows look like people playing music loud. My feet slow. I feel like someone's looking, kinda like a horror movie. I shake it off and keep 